Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food review just for you. I am up at the cottage and I thought I'd buy some chips and try out the four new flavors of Lay's potato chips. We've got bacon poutine. And a lot of you guys uh, know what poutine is because I do a lot of reviews on poutine. Check them out on my channel. It's potato chip, or sorry, uh, french fries, cheese curds, and gravy. That's what poutine is. Uh, this is tzatziki. That's what you put on your uh, souvlaki when you order uh, Greek uh, souvlaki. And then we have cinnamon bun. This will be the most bizarre thing. And as you can see, they're already open because we were like trying them out last night when we were watching the movies. And then we have uh, jalapeno mac and cheese. Check it out. Okay, so. I am going to do the cinnamon bun first because this is the one I haven't tried yet. I've eaten all of the other ones and they're all like they're all pretty good. They're not bad. Uh, the cinnamon bun smells like cinnamon and potato chips at the same time. Just looks like a regular potato chip. It does have little flakes of cinnamon on it. That's weird. You get the experience of eating a potato chip, but then have the exact flavor of uh, cinnamon buns. Not a fan. It's like eating... I don't know, it's just, just I don't like the combination. Let's go straight over to jalapeno mac and cheese. And the dogs are barking because somebody is coming down the driveway. This one is the only one that is rippled, I believe. Uh, all of the four new flavors. <clears throat> so this is jalapeno mac and cheese. Created by this guy. I kind of dig this one. It's not bad. They're not in your face hot but it's a cross between like jalapeno and um, horseradish. It has, has a little flavor of horseradish in it. So it's got the cheesy flavor of any kind of cheese potato chip you've ever had. But then it has a jalapeno flavor but like I said it also has a bit of a horseradish taste I would definitely buy those again those are pretty good let's go straight over <clears throat> to the tzatziki I'm trying to uh I believe it's, it says right on, or shows you right on here that it's uh, cucumbers. And this one looks like sour cream and onion chips. Like really, really crunchy. So it's like, oh, they're kettle, it says right on it, kettle cooked. These are wavy. This doesn't say anything. So it says right on it that it was wavy. This one says it's kettle cooked. So I just got that crazy crunch of kettle cooked chips. As you can hear, these aren't bad either. I guess it kind of tastes like dill pickle chips, but with a sour cream and onion flavor as well. Giving you a rough idea. I think that's my number three. Uh, so it's like cinnamon bun is the last, then number three, and then jalapeno. So we'll see where this one stands. And this is the bacon poutine. And like I said, poutine is french fries, cheese curds, and gravy. And we tried these last night too. It has a 
hickory smoke flavor. If you weren't to tell anybody what these were and you just gave it to them, you'd say, what flavor is that? It definitely has a, um, like a gravy, very salty, very beef flavored gravy. I think these are, let's rate every one of these. Oh, well, the rating will be which one I'd buy more than the other one. So, so number four is the uh, cinnamon bun. Number three, it's a toss up guys between these two. Um, I, I le definitely like these better than these, but these are still really good because of the, the kettle cooked texture and crunch to it. So I guess I'll do uh, cinnamon bun last, this second last. This will surprise some people. Actually, uh, I think I'd buy these more than these. And then last but not least, these are my favorite guys. So Lay's, you can keep the jalapeno uh, mac and cheese on the shelf as long as you like. The other ones, whatever. So there you go guys, there's a, another food review just for you. I hope you guys get a chance to try all these. I was wishing I could get the smaller bags, but it was kind of fun to share with the family and see what they liked. Uh, I don't know exactly who liked what off the top, but uh, these ones are the most empty. Uh, some people were worried that they're not gonna leave me enough for my review, just for you. So, and of course this one's still full because nobody really liked having sweet and potato chip in the same bite. But these are, these definitely are my top three. Look at that, oh. So like I said, next time you're out at the grocery store and I got these at Sobeys uh, and they weren't in the chip aisle, they were like, they had their own separate little display somewhere else in the store. I didn't think they had them, but I had to ask somebody. Anyway guys, thanks for watching Ken Domic's food reviews. Ken Domic out. Boop. And there's different flavors in different countries. And uh, I'm gonna start again. I am up at the cottage and yet this is gonna be a bit of a different food review than normal. like I'm an octopus.